right up there flying around with us it's a 950 super enduro with a safari tank on it and it is an animal I mean when you start that the growl I mean I gotta know is there anything in here or is this just a straight pipe it's uh it's got packing, but it's basically straight. Basically, it sounds like it's a straight pipe. Really powerful. It's really snappy. And for being 100, 950 cc, unbelievably nimble. Yeah, this is a cool, cool bike. Really like it.
cool stuff. This is the kind of stuff that I try to seek out when I'm down in here. Nice. wasn't too bad till I got to there. Right. So yeah. I, my guess is that'll be that'll be pretty typical in what it's like. I'm working! <laughs> Well, this is cool. Great terrain, huh? Yeah, it's very cool. We've got the firebox freestyle set up in this new keyhole configuration. I had to trim them up a little bit and they're tight but hopefully they'll shrink a little bit <laughs> and then I'll cover the stakes up with my shallow cowboy plate Let's take a look, see how things are going. So they're getting cooked just very slowly. Which is kind of how I like to do it because then you get that pink from edge to edge, you know. I was going to say toad, but I didn't know what to describe. I mean, that's, that's a toad that I know is out here in the desert, is the spadefoot toad. Just keep these beauties going. I can't believe how loud those toads are. I know, listen to them. This is one of Brett's spots that he camps at every once in a while. 
shelter. Pretty, pretty nice. This would be, and even if it rained, did it come in and drip a little bit? Uh, it drips off right, right about there. That's about the drip line. Oh, uh, okay. So no problem, you know. You That's get awesome. out here and you out of the wind, out of the, the rain. rain. Yeah. Cool little spot to know. Yeah, it is. If you're a minimalist. Yeah. I'm amazed at how well you know the desert. Like, you have a pretty good read on this place. 30 years. Wow. Roaming around down here. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you seem like you know it almost like the back of your hand. All right, certain areas, no question. Cool. Well, thanks for bringing me out here, Brett. You bet, man. It's been awesome. I'll move these stakes around a little more. It's actually still pretty rare over on that side. That's cooked a little more. Oh, my water's boiling over. The asparagus is done. I will mix in my mashed potatoes. If you want to really take your time, and you want to achieve like Ooh, really nice that. results. Yeah, look at that. Then you can do it, but you've got to be ready to spend the time. That's about how you like it, isn't Ooh, it? That looks like perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm, yeah, let's cut this one more. Yeah, piece. sorry. Wait, I didn't put any salt or anything on it yet. You want to take it just like that? I've got this special spice I want you to try that I think you're going to like. Oh, man. Is that good? Money. <laughs> nice. Holy cow. All right. We'll slide your beef over. Go ahead and get these mashed potatoes out. The butter there on top, and the asparagus. <laughs> I mean, who can explain about that on the trail, right? Holy cow. There we go. Woo! Excited about that. I'm just going to put it on everything. Yeah, sounds it's, good. It's good stuff. All right, man. Take it away. Oh, Dinner man. is served. It's awesome. Holy crap! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's check this out. See what you think of that hakata spice. Oh man. Well, like you say, it took a little while, but this is money. The trick to making good food is you just take forever to get it to people, so they're so hungry. <laughs> that they're going to like it no matter what. I, I don't completely buy that, but uh, I do buy slow cooking usually results in better quality. I think so. There we go. Finally, dinner is served. Do you mind if I join you? Oh. Your little dining room over there? Yeah, it's good. Oh. Yeah, see, I should have arranged my bike so I could lean against my tire, but I can lean against my duffel. The front wheel is the ultimate lightweight chair. It is. Mm -hmm. You just got to arrange. Yeah. You just got to arrange your motorcycles around the fire. Mm -hmm. 
in such a way that everybody can lean against their front wheel. Right. And, and, and that's a little bit of a trick in town, wind and stuff, but... <laughs> but that's the minimalist... That's the minimalist method. Approach. Yeah, method. I mean, duh, if you're trying to go lightweight, you don't bring a chair because you already got one. You already got a wheel. <laughs> it looks like it works good to me. It works great. Mm. And sometimes you might find a rock that you can sit on to get yourself up the, off the ground. Yeah. Bonus. Bonus. Oh yeah, nice boil. Super minimal amount of wood. I'm impressed. And now you just have hot coal under there, but it's still putting out quite a bit of heat. There we go. Nice. All finished, huh? So now you just wait a minute till everything just sinks. Give it a second. Do you do the cold water? Nope. A splash of cold water. No, nope. I uh, I just make sure it comes to a boil and give it a stir. And then by the time the the uh, it's drinkable, it's probably settled. Totally. All right, my water's boiling. Now what I'm going to do to alternate the heat on top and on bottom is just rotate the top set of pans. So if I pick this up, you'll see I've got the pizza stone. I'll turn this over and then that way I'll be able to cook both sides of the biscuits. I think these biscuits are going to turn out good. I bet I'm getting hungry. Ooh. Nice. Turn the whole thing over. You got any method for uh, cleaning up the mm, coffee time? The cups afterwards? All I do is uh, wipe them down with a paper towel. We'll just let our milk warm up somewhat slowly. I just lowered this fire stick here so I can put my milk right down on my coals. Right down in there. The 500 size bikes is, is when we really kind of get into the meat of things, you know? Yeah. And, and that's why the, that, that's really the reason we went for the, started exploring the super minimalist methods because those things are just right. You can't put much on them. Ooh, this turned out nice. Let's see how the bottoms are. Ooh, just a little bit dark. Yeah, 
This is gonna be a big plate of biscuits and gravy. Nice. Hard to be sitting around camp eating some good food in the morning. Mm. like a moonscape. This is so cool. That's awesome. So cool. This is a crazy scene. This is awesome. <laughs> See what you're seeing here? No. See what that is? I don't know what that is. Oh, that's the boat launch? For Hype Marina. Oh, that's Hype Marina. So this used to all be Lake Powell. Yeah. You can't even see it now. As far as you look down there, you can't even see the lake now. So that used to all be Lake Powell. Yep.
place. That's beautiful. I love the green mixed with the red there. Very cool. Wow, look at that view. Holy smokes. Pretty cool spot. posts there uh, helped me raise my handlebars a full inch which I'm kind of testing out you know and man I'll tell you it sure makes a big difference This is awesome. Feels good, yeah. Less air is good. And less air, bar rises, feel comfortable. Yep, all of it. A little bit of soft sand, no problem for this big soft 18 inch front wheel, big soft tire. Hey bunny. I'm amazed at how much wildlife I've seen on this trip. We had a big buck deer run right out in front of us. Brett almost hit it. Well, not really, but it was close. And uh, turkey flew right in front of me. I almost ran over a snake. Maybe nipped his tail just a little bit. But I tried to miss him. There's all kinds of wildlife out here. You wouldn't think you'd see it when you're riding a motorcycle, but... been pretty fun that way.
I hit this going a little too fast and uh, I just started bouncing I almost kept it up but it uh, it just went down so straight down you know it doesn't look like much from this angle but when you're on your bike and you hit it and you're going too fast it's enough to get you going Not much to see here. I don't know where the actual missiles came out of. Maybe over there. Maybe those are blast shields. I'll go up there. Oh. I don't know what this is, but I don't see any silos. So. Classic New Yorker right there. Yeah. Textbook. Yeah, he was cool. And this is a cool spot. Yeah, there's a bunch of these concrete pads around. I don't know what the I don't know what they're for. about I don't know what these things are for but uh it's a good place to take a break is what I figure yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and then when we roll through town they've got a little municipal park downtown and they got one of the yeah. <laughs> one of the rockets yep that's one of the Athenas yeah I can see the whole thing would roll uh, you see it's got a bumper right there oh yeah to be a bunker there's a lot of computer racks and stuff down there so I'm thinking this may have been the command center and then going out from here there's all these like conduit going to different points and I think they must have had electrical lines uh, there's some big fluid hoses it looks like ran inside of these and they must go out to the different launch points or the, I don't know, you know, something that this place controls. So, pretty interesting.
Yeah, so cool. What does it mean? And then these angels. And then that devil. Who knows what they were to them. I made it. Let's go down the stairs. Oh. Thanks for watching everyone.